Barbara S. Stewart is a self-published author of five books, including Sweet Surrender, Rock and Roll Never Forgets, Whose Bed Have Your Boots Been Under, When I Look to the Sky, and Feel Like Making Love. What do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? The cover art needs to catch the reader's attention immediately. Otherwise, they may move on to another book without even knowing what the book is about. New communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field slash industry? Provide an example. Mrs. Stewart's books are sold through online book retailers. This means the thumbnail on the cover, which is instantly available on the site, needs to catch the reader's attention. You can see improvement as experience increases, and the quality of her book covers is no different. She has learned that the cover has to be what the reader wants to see, not necessarily what the author wants to see. The concept of the cover on Whose Bed Have Your Boots Been Under is simple, but still informs the reader about the story. Mrs. Stewart believes the cover for Rock and Roll Never Forgets informed her more of the story than it did to the readers. She also thinks the back cover gave more information about the story, but unfortunately only the front cover is shown in online book retailers. Rock and Roll Never Forgets ended with a little red-headed girl. The cover for the sequel, When I Looked to the Sky, let them know it would be about that girl as an adult. Mrs. Stewart's favorite cover of hers is the cover for Feel Like Making Love. She says she has received feedback that a romance cover should look like this cover. This cover revealed a love story, but not enough to give away whose it would be. What popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? The most popular images in her genre are those of almost naked men. This is because they catch the attention of the target audience, women. However, she wants the covers of her books to reflect the story, which is about love, not half-naked men. Who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? Mrs. Stewart knows one visual artist, and that is Jeff Manilow. He is the person who designs her covers. He drew the cover for When I Look to the Sky, and she loves it, but thinks the reader wants a cover like her latest book. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Mrs. Stewart's creative process isn't influenced by any famous artworks. She says she has an idea in her head, but needs someone to help perform that idea outside of her head 